to Gapy's Grub. Today we are in the kitchen and we are processing some tomatoes. So I wanted to show you what I do to get them prepared for processing. What I do first is I cut the tomatoes in half and paste tomatoes work the best because they don't have as much moisture. But I cut them in half and I kind of take out all the seeds and all the excess um, kind of moisture that's in where the seeds are at. And then I place them upside down with the cut side down on an aluminum foil lined baking dish. And you want to make sure your baking dish is pretty, has pretty tall walls because there will be a lot of moisture that comes out of the tomatoes while they're being roasted. Um, and I roast them mainly because it makes removing the skin a lot easier. So what I do is I put them into a 400 degree oven. So we have the oven here already warmed up. And we'll take our tomatoes and put them in. And this will take about 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to set the timer for 20 minutes. And I already have some that I took out a little while ago. And I'll show you what they look like. So here they are. You can see there's a little bit of charring on some of them, which is totally fine. It actually adds some more extra flavor if there's a little bit of char on there. But we, when you process tomatoes, you have to remove the skin because of bacteria that may be on the skin. So any canning recipes that you find that are actually approved by the canning, I don't know, the canning association, whatever it's called, they, they actually require that you remove the skins. So that's why um, I'm doing it this way. So let me show you what I do with the skins. Now you wanna wait until the tomatoes have cooled off at least a little bit. That way you can easily remove the skins with your fingers. And if it's still a little too hot, you can either wait longer or you can also use some tongs like this to kind of help out and it just comes off really easily. Now this um, tray here, I did add some other type of tomatoes besides the Romas um, because that's just what was ripe. So you can use the tongs, but I actually think it's a lot easier to use your fingers or you can use a combination. I actually do that a lot as well. So I'm putting the skins here in this dish over here. And then what I'm going to do is take all these skins and put them in the dehydrator. You don't want to throw these away because there's a lot of flavor in the tomato skins. So I put them in the dehydrator until they're completely dry. It doesn't take too long. And then what happens is I put them in a spice grinder and I turn it into tomato powder. So this is tomato powder from the skins that I dehydrated last year. And I've been using that in soups and taco seasoning and all kinds of other stuff. So it's a really flavorful, flavorful spice that you can use in your cooking. And then once I get all the skins off, what I do is I take another jar, I have a jar here, and then I just pick up the tomatoes with the tongs and put them in the jar. And then I just, it takes, if you want to do a lot, it takes a, a little while and a lot of um, processes in the oven. So I usually do two of these baking dishes at a time and I'm probably going to do four full trays today. Um, but I'm just going to put them in this jar temporarily until I get them all roasted and then I'll, I'll get them processed. Now after you get the tomatoes all out of here, I don't know if you can see, but there's actually a lot of moisture that's in the bottom. This one actually doesn't have too much, um, but you may have a lot depending on what type of tomatoes that you roast. So also you don't want to throw that away. So make sure any tomato juice that you have in there, you can put that into another jar. So this is the jar I have with all the, the tomato juice in it. And you can use that um, for also for soups. And um, you can use it for rice liquid if you make rice. So you can use that for a lot of different things. So that's pretty much um, how I prepare my tomatoes for processing. I'm going to go ahead and finish getting the skins taken off of these and get ready for the next batch. 
Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you guys again soon.